Today we're going to talk about one of the great additions to the EDIP platform. It's the ME61 displays. These are really powerful and really cost effective ways to, to get visualization and even enter data into uh, the EDIP system, which can then be fed onto any network. These displays come in a small size, which is display only and can display up to four parameters. So you can mount it anywhere on any tank, in, on any system, on any wall. It's the same with the large display, simple plug-in, and that takes power and data to it. And you have a, the ability to input data on this one as well. So these can be mounted, as I said, in the field, anywhere you like. Let me demonstrate their functionality for you now. The three and a half inch display, as you can see, is a full color display and also will display up to four parameters. So you can actually have four different temperatures, four pressures, a uh, mixture of pressure, temperature, or whatever. In this example, we've got a flow totalizer, the duty cycle of the valve inside this uh, mass flow controller, the actual flow, and the set point. In the PLC now, I'll increase the set point to 10. So there, the set point's gone up, and now we're seeing the actual flow also at 10. I'll bring that back down to zero. So that just gives you an idea it's a very simple display, but very, very cost effective and uh, just plugs in and that's power and data coming to the unit as it stands. Now let's look at the larger display. The seven inch color display can also display four parameters at a time, but there's a lot more that you can do with these. As an example, we can now input and open and close things. As an example, if we change the valve, we can uh, not only tell it to open, we can read the state back and we can also read, read the coil current all in one device. We can also have multiple screens and also trends so we can see a temperature. I'm going to simulate the temperature going up now and it will take a little bit of time but you'll see it start to move and you'll see the trends start to move as well. We can also command to uh, valves in the field. We can uh, get, see their feedbacks. We can also see the 16 digital input channels and also read the pH cube, the temperature and the pH hold. Then we can also see set points here on a control valve. As an example, I can change the set point to this control valve to 50 and apply. So. You can see all of the capabilities that you can uh, do here. And this is a, another modulating valve. We'll set that to 25%. And you can see that it, the valve immediately changes to 25%. And you can see that shown in the display as well. So yes, it's uh, very capable. And also the, uh, the display can change color if you go outside a parameter. And we've been looking at values, but there's also a nice feature there called actions, where we can actually go in and change things like uh, the colors and things like that. As an example, I want to teach a valve, I can actually go in there and I can hit teach on a control head, and this was actually calibrating an on-off valve uh, and, and setting the feedbacks, etc. In the settings, we can also change it to different languages, we can have a screensaver wait, or we can actually make the page change automatically. So we can make it change every three seconds. We can also change the brightness, etc. So if we leave it uh, to three seconds, uh, it will automatically change every three seconds. That will scroll through all the screens that you've set up on an ongoing basis. You notice that uh, we can also have a pin. You can protect individual inputs or you can protect any entry on the screen at all with a pin. So this pin can, you know, might be a four digit pin you put in there so that it means that you can't have operators playing with the display when they're not authorized to do so. Another really cool feature in this is the device information that's available to when you connect any EDIP device. This one's connected to the 8693 control valve where we have a set point and a, uh, we can also read the valve position. So the interesting thing is, if we just touch the eye, it will give us the device information. So we can actually see the displayed name, the ident number of the valve it's connected to, the manufacture date, software version, hardware version, etc. 
So let's also have a look at the trending functionality. I'll just zip back here to the temperature. If you click on the little device here, we can expand that trend so you can see more detail. One really unique feature is the, the fact that once it's all installed and programmed, if something was to go wrong, like a stray rock was to smash it, then guess what? By simply unplugging and replugging in another device, you can completely, it completely holds its configuration in the block and it reconfigures the unit ready to go. You don't have to get out a computer and do all the configuration. All you need to do is plug in a like device. And I'll demonstrate that here. Get that out, and then we go. And a couple of minutes, and let it configure itself and find all the devices. And you'll find it's got the whole lot all there, ready to go. Same passcodes and everything. All up and running. No need to get a computer, no need to reconfigure. Finally, one of the really cool features we can do with this is we can actually do custom faceplates. We can engineer things for specific applications or even specific customers. In this example, we're doing batch control. The ME61s are a great addition to the EDIP range, as you saw. So have a look at our website, you get all the details and data on there. Thank you for watching.